Hello, in this video tutorial we are going to look at our new Weebly blogs for our 6th and 7th grade students. 6th grade students, uh, you created your blog last year in the 5th grade if you were here with us. Um, and 7th grade, you will be uh, getting in and creating your blog this year. So I want to walk everybody through because if we have new students uh, in the 6th grade, then they will need to also uh, create their blog using Weebly. So from the Castleberry homepage, you're going to mouse over students and you'll notice that for our kindergarten through seventh grade uh, students, we are now going to be using Weebly blogs. So when you click there on the link, you are going to sign in. Now uh, for our sixth grade, you will use your username just like you use to log on to the computer and then your password is your lunch number. For seventh grade students, you're going to need to type in your actual email. And so you're going to put in your username at students.cisd.net and then your password is your lunch number. And then you'll click on login and it's going to take you into your area into your site. Now we are going to click on my site. Now yours may have already come up with this link here that says choose your website domain. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to create our domain if we have not already created that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have our students type in their first name and their last initial and then type CISD and then type portfolio. So you should have your first name, last initial, and then CISD will go right in the middle and then portfolio at the end. And then at the end you'll have .weebly.com. And notice I get a green check saying that that is available. If for some reason yours has an X and says it is not available, then you would need to come here at the end and type a number, uh, like a number one or a number two, until you get a green check that says it's available. Once it says it's available, you will click continue. And now you are going to be in your site. And you're going to notice that there is a little uh, tutorial that it will take you through. I'm just going to click on got it right here. Um, and I'm going to get through this uh, little tutorial uh, so that we can move into our uh, creating our blog page. So right now you have just a home page. Basically this is a website. So to make your blog page, uh, you are going to, let me move this over, go right up here to pages. And you're going to click at the top where it says add pages and you're going to add a blog page and the page name right now says blog so you can go ahead and type in your first name apostrophe s and then blog and remember we do not want to put our whole first name and last name uh, if you want to put your last initial then you may put your last initial there if you want to this can be changed uh, later uh, if you feel like you need to change it once you have your page you're going to click save and now notice you have a page and you'll notice over here that you also have and I'll move my screen back over uh, you'll notice that you also have here a page that says your name on it and it's going to come up and it's going to now allow you to add your posts in here in the middle okay so I'm gonna go back over and I'm gonna click here on build and I'm going to move this uh, down and you'll notice that down here in the bottom right corner there is a button that says new post and this is where you will click and this is where you would then add your new post to your um, page. You'll notice that down in the bottom left hand corner now there is a button that says post options and so here's where I can say when I want this to be posted and if I scroll down I can put in the title to my blog so this is where I would put the title to my blog post and then I would come here 
and this is where now I would begin to start working and I could pull in my text that I want to type so I can type text here and then if I want to add an image notice I just click and drag I can put the image below and then all I will do is once this loads I will just click and put an image in if I want to move this I can just click and drag and notice that there is a little blue bar that tells me where it's going to go if I want see the tiny blue bar there at the far right if I want to have my text with the picture here next to it I could do that as well I just click here and then I can actually upload a, a photo from my computer and once I upload that photo photo from my computer and let me go into my images and I'll just put a picture of the Castleberry line in there and now I've got a picture and then I can type whatever I need to type here on the page. It's very simple to do and once I finish I'm going to want to make sure and save my work so you'll notice that over here to the side there is a save but there's also a post and once I post then that will go uh, to my blog. So these are the basics to get your blog set up and then your teachers will be working with you more on the type of content that you will want to put into your blog. Thank you.